Yeah, look, the, war, the, um, the world domination. And look at this here. I already saw this. This symbol here. So it shows the... Um, it shows a triangle, which is the concept of three. And there's a square, which is the concept of four. So it shows square and compass. You know. So this might be a... A lodge, actually, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, look. I can't see what it all shows. With it. They give the, all their secret signs, and it's in a coat of arms. No. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that is. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't see anything on the screen. Never buy a camera with, you know, with an LCD screen. So this town here is called Montagna Le Templier. Montagna, the mountain of the Templars. Well, let's go and have a look. Must be something, eh? Yeah, it looks sort of a castle here with a Templar's cross on it. And it's the, um, it's the mayor's office. Hotel de Ville. Oh, I can't see anything. Uh, it's in a town called Mut. And here the temperatures, you know, like in the winter, the temperatures until uh, down to uh, 40 minus Celsius. They've been measured. And I can see it better. Hotel de Ville, the mayor's office. Well, let's have a look. I'm gonna ask. So this is the castle of uh, La Rosée. As you can see here, this is the name, Rosée. It's not like the wine. <laughs> and uh, here you can see the an owl. Um, I can't see anything in my screen. Well, anyway, the. Ah, the owl. Freemasons. Oui, c'est un château de quel siècle? Douzième yeah. aussi, hein? Oui, voilà. So it's a 12th century uh, castle. I'll just show you the entrance. It's private property, so I cannot go in. Well, I could, you know me. But it's all the same, anyway. Pharaoh. Oh, the castle of uh, Chevreau in the Jura, which is old Celtic for language for it means the forest, the black forest, and it's the same mountain ridge which goes all the way to Germany. It's just a little bit interrupted in the Rhine Valley where Basel is, and then it goes on and it becomes in Germany the black forest, Jura means the black forest and it goes all the way to geneva and even more south yeah. so this is the castle of chevreau and there are people from all over the world who come here and help to rebuild it as you can see there you know it all at the end and it's very open you can sleep here there are toilets very inviting and it's all been renovated as you can see here they're still renovating uh, with the I think they do it with the tools from the Middle Ages the people from all over the world are coming here uh, there you can see that uh, since 1990. Oh, here you can see it. Facebook Chateau de Chevreau. So if you want to pass a holiday here and come helping, here too. Uh, Chevreau. So it's the castle called Chevreau. And uh, from all over the world, they're coming here. 
and uh, have some fun together. Get some uh, middle-aged beer. Well, you can see they're rebuilding the whole castle here. And, uh, so a lot of young kids. You can see the uh, the planes here. So you can see all the things they're doing here. Uh, just having some fun together. Yeah. Visit Libre. But you have to work. <laughs> Arbeit macht frei. For our masters. Uh, it's not our heritage, it's the heritage of our masters. You know, you, you build it, Les Amis de Chevreau. So we build it and they, they probably take it over, right? Yeah, people from all over the world, you know, uh, even one from Israel helping. Uh, Eleven from the America, a lot of Ruskies, English. They probably have a, uh, um, the names and the emails of the persons. Uh, this is probably as it used to. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. And the old lady, she's doing the gardens here, apparently. So they, you know, so you come and help them, you know, and then the aristocracy, they'll take over and they do their... Uh, satanic rituals with children and you know this is why you helped for you know do something nice and i'm pretty sure it will end up like that oh look here it's a lot of old tombs here oh look at the owl look at that wow yeah whatever it is so this already in 1992 and it's still going on now look here it says some more it's an, another 12th century castle there are no castles from before very rare so here you can oh this is a Trisco Celtic. They can put some money in here. It says for the for the castle for the uh, uh, the uh, to preserve the castle. dans le jardin médiéval du château de Chevreau. Donc je cultive là les simples, ce qu'on appelle les simples, c'est-à-dire les médicinales, mais aussi les aromatiques et les plantes textiles, les tinctoriales, des plantes qui servaient à teindre les tissus comme la garance So she, she puts here the plants that, that have been used in the Middle Ages to, uh, to cure you and they doing like a free exchange of plants and people there are many people coming here apparently like over the weekend so this one uh, uh, tanese tanesi. No? tanesi it's a plant uh, you know to get rid of your intestinal uh, parasites voilà. benoit is for the uh, the tooth toothache and they were all used la like sauge, in the middle ages la sauge de sclaré pour les problèmes de sommeil Ah, this one for sleeping problems. Voilà. Là, oh, tu peux l'utiliser toi-même, donc. Bien comme sûr. tu te lèves tout le jour. Bien sûr. Oui. Uh -huh. Là, c'est la rue. C'est pour... C'est les femmes pour... C'est une plante abortive. Ah, so if you want to do an abortion, you know, you don't have to go to the doctor, you can use this one. C'est quoi le nom? La rue. La rue. En homéopathie, Ruta Graveolins. Comment? 
Ruta Graveola, hein, sans nommer au ah, Ok. On s'en ah. servait au Moyen-Âge pour faire avorter les femmes. C'est une plante qui provoque des hémorragies. Elle a été interdite de culture pendant des années parce qu'il y avait trop de, de femmes qui mouraient. So many ça. women died with this plant and it has it had been forbidden for a long time. Uh, and uh, so um, yeah. So if you do if you want to do an abortion and well, I wouldn't recommend it. You know. Use that plant here. And here you can see the uh, the plains here. Very nice region. Put your tent here and come with your camping car and it's all yeah, nice. All these things, these nice things, you get it only in places where there's a lot of space. You won't find it in bloody Paris, eh? So the castle was made, it was built in only six years and it's um, Le Seigneur de Coligny who, uh, oh here it says, Le Seigneur de Coligny. Oh, it says a lot more in French, okay. And uh, he went into the, uh, uh, into the Crusades. There's a lot of mysterious stuff here, so uh, he was not a Templar, but uh, yeah. six, only six years. Yeah, it says Manasses three, which sounds very pharaonic. <laughs> Excuse me. And already in 974, he gave the 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 land to the uh, to the monks here. Suran. Mm. I think there was a pharaoh Manasses. So the lady just said that the uh, when they made this, they made a big hole in the earth, you know, to put this thing here to receive all the money, all the coins. And they found uh, five skeletons here a couple of years back. And they were obviously uh, murdered or killed or executed or died in combat. So there were three men and two boys. Yeah. Menaces, yeah, he was definitely a pharaoh, Menaces. Where is it? You see, they're all pharaohs, you see? I have to look it up. So his name was Menaces III, the sire of Coligny, this place. And they're going to take it over when it's finished, and then they're going to do all their horrible things again. And this is what you've been working for then, you know, for free. And you think like having a nice time and you know, all the people from all over the world. Well, it is a nice idea, you know, but I mean, who came up with the idea, eh? Oh look, there's even a couple of Swissies here. A hey, Swissie. So this church is from 910. And it's in Tunisian order. Uh, so it's quite old, right? So this is their church. Pyramid here. Oh, it's having all this. Yeah. Let's have a look at the oval. Oh, it's open. Nice. Ah, oh, the same thing, eh? It's octagonal. Where is this going to? Ah, oh, that's heavy, eh? <laughs> so this is like uh, more than a thousand years old, eh? Right, wow, you can see that. Do you ever see a church from the year thousand? Well, you can see it now. That's a heavy construction, eh? Wow, this is real old, eh? Wow, 
Look, I put on my sandals. I hope they're not mistaken for Jesus. I, I'm still, it's still March. thousand years old. Now look, it's an octagon with an, o an oval in the middle with a twitch on top like the McDonald's, you know, and, and a big o octagon as well. So I'm going to show you a town which is completely octagonal. It's incredible. And here it says Trésor in plural. That means treasures. Here it says Trésor. Treasures. Which has, it's composed of the words Tré for three. So that's them. It's the concept of three or the compass. The side of a pyramid, a triangle. The hierarchy and here it says Sor meaning the king so it's two times uh, like them the king the kings out of the aristocracy that's what it means and what well, to whom do the treasures usually belong well it belongs to them right the kings and the Templars and the octagon and so it says in fact two times Sor here Sar. One time here, and one time here. Don't you think this is just a coincidence? Don't you ever think that again? Uh, so, here you see the sun hieroglyph all over there. Sun hieroglyph. I'm still in the, the town of the, uh, of the sluts. So, the... Uh, the concept of three and the king. It means actually the king's aristocracy. Well, they are the treasure. Their descendants is the treasure as well. That's how they see upon it. They are the treasure of, of the world, you know. We are just their slaves. Yeah. I've been having a problem with focusing with this thing lately. You know, up there, you know, invisible for the eye almost. They're always showing this weird stuff. I'll look at it later. Yeah. That's some um, weird stuff. I was a bit too quick the last time. So. I'll do it a bit slower. You know, I have to stretch up my hands, you know, and my arms, my shoulders up. And, uh, my Frenchie with his car. Oh, come on. So, you know, I can't do it too long, you know, because it's quite tiring with all the 30Ks on my neck. There's a sun hieroglyph. I saw this thing at the Templars Commandery where the President was. The other guys who made it. Oh, weird stuff. Look at that. See some more Templars dudes kissing or something. So this building is called the Templar Commandery of Saint Jean. So the, there must be some Templar stuff here, but I don't see it now. Eh? Uh. So here's the other side of the building. It's not in that old form anymore, probably. So they put the tourist information in it. That's me. And here it says uh, the commandery, you know. You can read it yourself. Here you go. The hospitalers. Uh, 
Got a problem with my camera. You can read this as well. Oh, uh, here it is in English. So the Templars was not something rare, you know, like maybe as they show you in all the films and all that. No, it was not rare at all. They were everywhere. Everywhere. The king, he didn't have a single chance. So... It's a staircase. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a house of the 16th century. What do I see here on top? Look, the basic Pisces with the oval in the middle. So everybody who's initiated, if they're humans at all, they understand it, you know. I see there are a lot on trucks as well. Yeah, look, he's got this Caribbean on his head, just like the Swiss uh, the, the opening of the Saint Gotthard, you know, with the sort of Isis horns almost. So this is definitely pharaonic, it's a symbol of the reincarnation. It's a pharaonic, the Antichrist, I don't know what, on a petrol station. Yeah, look at that. It's a knight, you know, with a sword and all that. 